Hello, welcome to our yoga practice. We've got 45 good minutes coming up to make you feel incredible. Let's start laying onto our back to begin. And just hug your legs in once you start. So we're going to start a little bit slow, then pick up the pace, but right here, hugging your legs in, just let your low back feel like it's stretching out, the backs of your legs stretching out, and just rock a little bit from side to side to start our 45 minutes off. I love that you're on your mat with me. It makes me so happy from over here. Just keep your right leg hugged in. Let your left leg extend out on the floor. Just a couple breaths like this. Just warming up the back of that right leg here. Now we're going to switch sides. Extend that right leg out. Hug your left leg in. Just a couple breaths here. And big breaths. Big inhales and exhales. Release that foot. Now set your feet down on the floor so your knees are pointing straight up, starting to get into a little bit of strength. A bridge pose. Press into your feet so your hips lift up in the air as high as you like. Arms right by your side. Just a couple breaths here. Good, and bring your hips back down. Hug your legs in for a moment again. One more time, set your feet down on the floor, coming into bridge, pose again, lift your hips up in the air. This time interlace your hands under you, your arms are straight and moving down as your hips lift up. A couple more breaths here in a strong back. Release your hands, bring your hips back down to the floor, hug your legs in from there. Rock your way up to sitting. And we're coming onto our hands and knees next from there. Your hands are right under your shoulders. The knees are beneath your hips. And let's cat and cow, arching and rounding our back, back and forth. So when you inhale, head up, belly down. Exhale, head down and back rounded. So keep going 30 seconds with your own breath like this, just warming our spine up. Keep going a few more times, up and back. Tonight I leave familiar for the great unknown. Got a couple broken arrows in my hair. And now we're holding our back back in neutral, right in the center. From here, extend your right leg, lift it up and extend it straight back. And press out through your right heel so the back of that right leg is really straight. A few breaths in that strong right leg here. Keep your arms as straight as you can as well. Set that right knee back down. Same thing on the other side as the music starts to kick in. Left leg, extend it straight back, about parallel to the floor. Hold it like this. Bring that knee back down. Curl your toes under. We're making our way to our first down dog. So curl your toes, lift your hips up from there. If down dog ever feels like it's intense, just come back down to your knees. That's totally fine. Otherwise, down dog, your body's making a triangular or pyramid shape with your hips high. It does get better over time. So whatever you can do today, as long as it feels challenging, but not intense, not intimidating, a few big breaths just like this in down dog. Come down to your knees, sit back in child's pose from there. Sit back on your heels. Take one more big breath here. Come back up to your hands and knees and back into down dog again. Curl your toes, lift your hips back up and down dog just like before. Your legs as straight as they can be. Arms are straight, your hips are high. It should feel challenging, but not intimidating. 
And from here, little by little, walk your feet up to your hands. Once they're there, separate your feet hip distance apart. Hang forward and hang down. You might want to bend your knees a little bit if that makes it feel a little better. But a forward bend just like this, let your head relax, your shoulders and arms relax as you hang down. From here, roll your body all the way up to standing. Lift your arms up to the ceiling, look up, reach as high and tall as you can. A few more breaths, just like this, stretching up. Stay standing, bring your arms by your side, looking straight ahead. At the top of your mat, we're gonna roll our neck in half circles or full circles, whichever you like. About 20 seconds, just let your neck open up. And keep going like this. And bring your head back to center. Bring your hands to your hips. Reach your right arm straight up to the ceiling. And folding over in a side bend to the left as much as you like. Just reach out through that right hand as that right side of your waist gets a little bit longer. Wide awake tonight as we counted all the planes go by. Bring your body back up to center. Bring your right hand back on your right hip. Reach your left arm straight up to the ceiling. And when you're ready, fold over to the right. Let that waist open up on this side here. Good. Bring your body back up. Bring your arms by your side now, standing at the front of your mat. Bring your feet all the way together. And with an inhale, lift your arms up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, fold back down to the floor from there. Stay right here. Roll up to standing. Once you're up, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Take another big breath in. And when you exhale, fold back down to the floor again from there. Now separate your feet a little wider than your mat. Bring your hands onto a block or your hands are on the floor. Either way, you might bend your knees a little bit to have that happen. But keep your left hand down. Take your right arm up to the ceiling. Your torso is twisting to the right for a few breaths here. One more breath like this. Maybe twist a little more to the right. Bring that right hand back down to the floor or that block. And take your left arm up as we twist on this side. Keep breathing deeply as you twist left. Bring that hand back down to the floor. Step your feet hip distance apart. And then we're walking back into down dog from there. Walk your feet back in down dog. Pedal your legs out, bend one knee, bend the other knee, back and forth for a moment here. Good, then keeping your heels down evenly in down dog. Next, shift forward into plank at the top of a push-up. You might come down to your knees, otherwise your legs are straight. Stay here. Next time you exhale, we're lowering all the way down to the floor. If you want to hover off the floor, that's fine. Otherwise, all the way down. Uncurl your toes, hands forward a little bit. Press into your hands a little or a lot and arch your back up as much as you like and stay right there. Good, now coming back to your hands and knees and then back into down dog from there. Nice. 
same work again. Bring your body forward into plank. Might be from your knees. Now, lower all the way down to your stomach from there. Uncurl your toes, hands forward a little bit, press into your arms, arch your back as much as you'd like again here. Stay here a few breaths. Press it back to your hands and knees again. That's it. Back into down dog from there as the music starts to kick in. I'm gonna start adding a little bit more strength to it. Stay in down dog a few breaths like this. Now take that right leg high up in the air, as high as you can. Let that left heel press down. And then step that right foot up inside your right hand. You might need your right hand to help get that foot up there. Coming into a lunge, stay in that lunge for a moment. Good, now from here, bring that left knee down to the floor. Uncurl your back toes and reach your arms up into this version of crescent pose. Arms straight up to the ceiling. And sink as low as you want in that right leg. A few more breaths here. Now from here, bring your left hand down to the floor and take your right arm up to the right toward the ceiling as your torso twists to the right for a few more breaths here. If you wanted to make this more challenging, you could curl your back toes and straighten that back leg. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just keep twisting to the right for a few more deep breaths. Bring that right hand back down to the floor. Step back to your hands and knees from there. And then make your way back into down dog after that. Good work on that side. And now take your left leg up in the air. Just keep it high, let your right heel press down. And coming into a lunge on this side, bring that left foot up inside your left hand. Use that left hand to help it up if you need to. When you've got that, bring your right knee down to the floor, uncurl your toes back there, and reach your arms up into this version of crescent pose here. So two things, your lower body should be moving down and getting lower, and your upper body with your arms reaching higher at the same time. One more breath here. Then bring your right hand down to the floor. Take your left arm up as we twist to the left here. Again, if you want to challenge it more, curl your back toes and straighten that back leg. Either way, a few more breaths here. And that's it. Bring your hand down to the floor. Step back to your hands and knees from there again. And make your way back into down dog from there. Very nice. From down dog, shift your body forward into plank, maybe from your knees, and lower down to your stomach from there. Uncurl your toes, hands forward a little. Arch your back up, stay here a few breaths. Again, arch as much as you like. Press back to your hands and knees and back into down dog from there. Fantastic, from down dog, walk your feet up to your hands. Feet either together or hip distance apart. Chair pose, bend your legs a lot. Reach your arms out and up, ideally at a 45 degree angle, but whatever you'd like. Chair pose here, should be strong in your legs. Fold down and straighten your legs from there. Good, a couple breaths like this, letting your back and hamstrings open up. Roll your body up to standing. Chair pose again, just like before, same thing. This time though, 
If you want to make it harder, lift your heels up off of the floor just a bit. Set your heels down if they're up. Fold forward and down from there. Walk it back into down dog from there. For run down dog, bring your body forward into plank. From here or from your knees, five push ups. Take them as low as you want. When you're done with that fifth one, back to your hands and knees and back into down dog from there. From this down dog. Take that right leg up in the air. Step that right foot up into a lunge inside that right hand like before. This time turn your back foot down. The outside of that back foot, your whole foot is pressed down at an angle. Lift up into warrior one from here, your torso and arms reach up. So just like crescent with your arms, except your back foot is down. Bend that front leg as much as you want, your arms reaching high, keep your back leg straight. Try to move your left hip a little more forward toward the front of the mat. A few more breaths here in Warrior One, nice. Now bring your hands together at your heart, straighten your right leg. Shift your hips to face the side of your mat. And Warrior Two, bend your right leg again. This time your right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Very similar to Warrior One, just different hip position and different arm position. A few more breaths here in Warrior Two. From here, look down to the floor, bring your hands down to the floor on either side of that right foot. Step your right foot back either to down dog or your hands and knees. If you're on your hands and knees when you're ready, make it back into down dog from there. Before the other side, come forward into plank. And maybe from your knees or not, lower all the way down to your stomach. Uncurl your toes, hands forward a little, straighten your arms. Stay in this version of up dog for a few breaths. As much as you want to arch your back. And making your way to your hands and knees, and then down dog from there. Good. Almost been moving for 20 minutes straight. Fantastic. I love it. Let's get into that other side. Take your left leg up in the air. Coming into a lunge on this side. Step your left foot up inside your left hand. And use that hand if you need to help it up there. And setting up for warrior one, turn your back foot down kind of facing the side of your mat. And when you're all set up there, reach your torso and arms up in warrior one here. Feel your hips moving forward toward the front end of your mat. Bend that left leg a lot and keep that right leg straight. Your torso is straight up. Stay here in warrior one. Bring your hands together at your heart. Straighten that left leg. Shift your hips so your hips now face the side of your mat. And heading into warrior two, bend that front leg again. Reach your left arm forward, right arm straight back. It's always up to you how deep you sink in that left thigh. A few strong breaths here. Looking down to the floor, sweep your hands down to the floor on either side of that left foot. Step your way back onto your hands and knees from there. Good and staying on our hands and knees. 
from here. We're getting into your abs for a moment. From your hands and knees, extend that right leg out straight back behind you. And then bring your right knee as close to your nose as you can. Extend that right leg back out and back to your nose for 15 seconds. Out and in. Keep going like this at any pace you want. Keep your arms really straight. Keep going here. Good, now set that right knee back down to your hands and knees. Other side, take that left leg out, extend it back behind you, and a left knee toward your nose and hold it here. And then back out, keep going, 15 seconds again, any pace you'd like here. Good, set that left knee back down. Make your way back into down dog from there. Fantastic. From down dog, bring your body forward into plank at the top of a push up, maybe from your knees lower down from there. Uncurl your toes, press into your hands, arch up as much as you'd like. Couple breaths here again. And then back into down dog after that. From down dog, come to your hands and knees again. We're doing a version of one arm balance. From your hands and knees. Take your left hand first to your left hip. Send that left leg back and then reach that left arm up to the ceiling. Strong right shoulder and arm, and you're working on your balance at the same time. So two options here. Either keep that left foot on the floor, or reach your left leg off of the floor, about parallel to that floor. Either way, about 15 seconds in one arm balance version here. You got it. Bring that left hand back down. Maybe that left knee back down. Back to your hands and knees. Other side. Put your right hip up, your right arm up, and your right leg extends back a little bit. One arm balance on this side. And if it feels easy and you want to challenge it more, lift your right leg up off of the floor. 15 seconds here, balancing in this left arm here. Bring that right hand back down to the floor. Sit back in child's pose for a moment, back onto your heels from there. And they give you two options, either stay here in child's pose, or bring your torso up and lean back and rest on your hands. Just depends on how your knees feel and how your ankles feel. And a few breaths just like that, either child's pose or reverse child's pose. And from there, let's come back to our hands and knees and back into down dog from there. From down dog, take that right leg up in the air. Bring your knee as close to your nose as you can get it. Reach that right leg back out in the air. Coming into a lunge, set that right foot up inside that right hand. Good, from here, bring that left knee down to the floor, uncurl your left toes, and reach your arms up like before in this version of crescent here. Now from here, reach your left arm straight forward and right arm straight back. So your torso twists to the right. It should be a little unstable. That's what we're trying to get into, your equilibrium and working on that. So twisting right here.
from here, reach your left arm up to the ceiling and back a little bit. So it feels like a back bend. And your right hand can just come onto your right hip. Good, so you're twisting and you've got a back bend and you're lifting and that lower body is sinking low. A few breaths here, this reverse crescent variation. Reach your arms back up to the ceiling here in this version of crescent. And one more thing, bring your hands together at your heart. Let your left tricep rest on your right thigh as you twist your body to the right in crescent twist here. If it feels easy, you can curl your back toes under and straighten your back leg, but it's not easy. So a few more breaths, twisting to the right here. Looking down, bring your hands down to the floor. Step that right leg back to your hands and knees and down dog from there. Good work on that side. Before we get to the other side, come back into plank. We've got five push-ups again, maybe from your knees. And again, they're as low as you want. When you're done with that last push-up, just make your way back into down dog from there. You're doing great. There's five more hard minutes left to go. So stay with your strength a little bit longer. All right, now from down dog, take your left leg up in the air. Bring that left knee as close to your nose as you can. Reach that leg back out in the air. Coming into a lunge, bring that left foot up inside that left hand. Any way you want to get that left foot up there is fine. And once you're in that lunge, drop your right knee down, uncurl your right toes, lift your torso and arms up to the ceiling here. The last hard song we've got. From here, reach your right arm straight forward and left arm back to your torso twist left. Really nice. Again, should feel challenging for your strength, for your balance, and for the stretch going on all at the same time. From here, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Let your left hand come to your left hip here. And reverse crescent. Beautiful. Reach your arms back up to the ceiling. Look straight ahead. And last here, bring your hands together at your heart. Bring your right tricep on your left thigh in this version of crescent twist to the left here. If you want to challenge it more, throw your back toes under and straighten that leg. But it's already hard. Stay with this a little longer. Bring your hands down to the floor. Step that left foot back to your hands and knees. Make your way back into down dog from there. Nice. A couple more things. Walk your feet up to your hands. Either feet together or hip distance apart. Chair pose. Bend your legs. Reach your arms out and up in chair pose here. Again, if you want, you can lift your heels up off of the floor if you want to challenge it a little more. Set your heels down. Fold forward and down from there. Walk your way back into down dog from there. For rum down dog, bring your body forward into plank. Come down to your forearms in forearm plank, and you can always come down to your knees and do that as well. 10 seconds just like this. A 
come all the way down to your stomach from there and either interlace your hands behind your back or bend your legs, reach back and grab your feet or ankles. Either way, the strong back lifts you up. Lift your torso and legs up as high as you can here. We're right near the end of the strength. About 10 seconds here. Keep breathing and hold this as high as you can. Release it down. Press to your hands and knees from there. Last five push-ups, maybe from your knees. Take them as low as you want. When you're done with that last push-up, come all the way down to your stomach from there. Press into your hands, arch your back up. Take a big breath in here. And then pressing your way back into child's pose from there. Sit back on your heels and relax. That hard part's done. You've been working for 31 straight minutes. Fantastic. So for about half a minute, just rest here in child's pose. You can also wipe off and take a drink, whatever you'd like. I'm giving you an air high five from my home to yours. Great job. I love that you got on your mat. I love that you pushed yourself. It makes me so happy every single time you do yoga because it makes you better. Thank you for making yourself better with me. Slow your breath down and just relax. Child's pose from there. Either a few more breaths here in child's pose, or you can make your way to reverse child's pose like we did before, bringing your torso up and leaning back on your hands as far as you like. Either one of those childs or reverse child, whatever feels better. From wherever you are, bring your body up. Come to sitting on your mat from there. Coming into butterfly pose, bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees go out wide apart. If your knees are pretty high up in the air, just keep your feet farther from you. But the feet are still together. And when you're ready, pull your body forward and down. About half a minute here. If it feels uncomfortable, you can also sit on a block or sit on a pillow or something to elevate you a little bit. It does make it easier if you need it. But slow your breath down now that you are in Bring your body up from here. Bring your knees together and roll all the way onto your back from there. Hug your legs in once you're on your back. A few breaths like this or taking happy baby. Reach inside your knees, grab the outside of your feet from there. If that feels like it's too much for today, just keep your legs hugged in. And now from here, set your feet down onto the floor. Releasing those feet, setting them down. And your feet are hip distance apart. Walk your heels back as I'm close to your body away, as you can. But you push me away, losing, First of two back bends, lift your hips up in the air. I'm here for you, Either keep your arms by your side or you interlace your hands time. under you. You can wiggle your shoulders on your two if you like. Keep your hips high in bridge pose here. Bring 
bring this back bend down hug your legs in from there One more time, set your feet on the floor, coming into bridge pose again. Lift your hips up in the air again. Whatever arm position you want. Keep your breath deep, try not to hold your breath at all. Bring this back bend down and hug your legs in from there. Set your feet on the floor. We're getting into your hip opener. Figure four stretch. Bring your right ankle on your left knee. Keep your right hand through that gap in your legs. Clasp your fingers either under that left knee or outside that left shin. And you can let your head rest on a block. That always feels nice. Or on a pillow. But as you pull back a little bit, feel that right hip open up here. If it's too intense, you can keep that left foot on the floor and just let your arms rest by your side. 30 seconds here, together like this. Uncross your legs and setting up for the other side, figure four here. Bring your left ankle on that right knee. This might be enough. Otherwise, sweep your left hand through that gap in your legs, clasp your fingers under that right knee or outside that right shin. And again, 30 seconds. Once you are in this pose, slow your breath down. Which relaxes your muscles, which allows them to open up more. Half a minute like this. To come out, release your hands, uncross your legs. Now reach your right leg straight up to the ceiling, as straight as you can get it. And a few options, either just bring your hands behind that knee or behind your calf or somewhere, or you can use a towel or a strap around the sole of your right foot. But just pull that right leg up and back as far as you like, letting that hamstring open up here. One more breath here. And then hug that right leg into your body. Let your left leg extend out on the floor. Coming into a twist, use your left hand, take the knee over to the left for a few breaths there. Your right arm opens out to the right. Good, and bring that right leg back up. Set it on the floor. Now reach your left leg up to the ceiling, either using your hands behind that leg or a towel or a strap around the sole of your left foot. Just pull that leg back a little bit so that hamstring gets long on this side for a few breaths. Hug that left leg into your body. Let that right leg extend out on the floor. And coming into a twist, your right hand takes that knee to the right. Your left arm opens out to the left. A few breaths as we twist on this side now. That's it. 
bring that leg back up. Hug both legs into your body for a moment. Just give yourself a gentle little squeeze. Rock a little bit from right to left, massaging your back. Good, and holding your body still. Extend your legs out onto the floor. Let your arms come right by your side as we set up for our final resting pose, Shavasana. Find a comfortable position and close your eyes. And last, take a big, big breath in. Hold your breath in here. And sigh your breath all out from there after your work and your effort and changing your body for the better. Now just rest. Begin moving your fingers and toes again. And just slide your heels back and roll to your right side. And now press up to sitting, any position you want and close your eyes once you get there. And bring your hands together right at your heart. makes me so happy that you just spent 45 minutes on making yourself better. And it's always a better that feels physically better, emotionally and mentally better. And in your soul and in your spirit, everything feels more grounded and at peace. You couldn't have done anything better with your time. I love that you chose you these last 45 minutes because everyone that comes in contact with you from now on through the rest of this day will get the best, best version of you. So have a beautiful rest of your day from here on out, wherever you go. Namaste.